We will not march back to what was, but move to what shall be, a country that is bruised, but whole, benevolent, but bold, fierce, and free. Surrounded by presidents and music superstars, one voice at yesterday's inauguration stood apart from the others, a 22-year-old whose take on our country was pure poetry. Somehow we've weathered and witnessed a nation that isn't broken, but simply unfinished. Her poem is called The Hill We Climb. Amanda Gorman, the first youth poet laureate, captivating the nation and capturing our story. Being American is more than a pride we inherit. It's the past we step into. And her story, too. You had a passage in there you said, we the successors of a country. country. And a time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president. Only to find herself reciting for one. That kind of opened up the door of, of who you are. I'm Amanda Gorman, 22 years old, and getting here took a village. Um, it took me getting over a speech impediment. It took me having a strong single mother who raised me. And I'm black and I'm female and I'm proud of it. She was asked to read at the inauguration by First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, who had heard the young Harvard grad read before. We wanted the theme of this poem to reflect the larger theme of the inauguration, which was America United. But as she was writing, the Capitol was suddenly attacked. There was this moment of just horror and, you know, disgust. But then I also felt an enormous responsibility to say, okay, this is occurring, what am I going to do about it? In one of my favorite passages, let the globe, if nothing else, say this is true. That, that even it, as we grieved, we grew, that even as we hurt, we hoped, that even as we tired, we tried, that we'll forever be tied together, victorious, not because we will never again know defeat, but because we will never again sow division. Was that written after or before the 6th? That was written during that day. I had this understanding that the world is watching us, that we have the eyes of history and the future upon us. Your Twitter followers have blown up. Uh, are there any tweets that stand out in your mind? The ones I've definitely saved are the photos of children watching the inauguration and then seeing me on screen. Children of all colors and backgrounds, and that just really makes my heart explode to know that the next generation is witnessing that moment and getting to see themselves represented as being the change makers and being the way that is going to redefine our country. Amanda Gorman, whose words and poetry are lifting this nation. That's nightly.